We're going to turn now to the crisis at the border, the end of Title 42 on Thursday night, the pandemic era rule that allowed migrants to be quickly turned away over COVID concerns. Tonight, President Biden speaking with Mexico's president today. We do have news on that call and ABC's Maria Villarreal with federal agents at the border and what they're now most concerned about. Tonight, ICE agents going tent to tent, forcing migrants in El Paso to pack up and get processed now or risk deportation. It comes as more Texas National Guard troops head to the border. Over 900 stationed in El Paso alone as the end nears for Title 42, that Trump era health policy allowing authorities to quickly expel migrants based on COVID concerns. If they cross the border illegally, they're going to be sent back and they're going to be barred from seeking asylum for five years. Authorities bracing for up to 10,000 migrants crossing daily. And this is where they want to get to, this wall in El Paso where hundreds already wait to come in. This man wiping away tears. He says he's been waiting for eight days. Is your crime because you're happy? <sighs> but tonight, frustration along the border. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs critical of the federal government's response. Without much more robust action from the federal government, the current situation will only get worse. And now Chicago and New York State declaring states of emergency. New York's Governor Kathy Hochul saying, quote, a disaster is imminent. And David, the White House says that President Biden and the president of Mexico did talk today. They actually discussed continued efforts to address migration, including the return of stricter consequences for people found in the United States illegally after Title 42 ends on Thursday. But even after Thursday, we're also getting confirmation that the U.S. can continue to send migrants back to Mexico that are from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua and Venezuela. David. Maria Villarreal there in El Paso for us tonight. Maria, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.